taking professional photos for your short-term rental and a budget is the subject of this video. Welcome my beautiful people, Fernando David here. If you follow my channel, you know that I am a big proponent of making sure that you have professional photos for your short-term rental. It makes a big difference as to whether or not your property is going to stand out and do well versus not. But I also understand that when you start out, you may not have the money to hire a professional photographer and or buy an expensive camera to help you take those professional photos. So I'm going to give you five tips using your iPhone that'll help you get that look that is necessary to have your listing stand out and be successful on Airbnb. First tip we're gonna be talking about is the actual setting. Make sure what you're going to be taking a picture of is clean, it is decluttered, and has nothing personal. So I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. The core, right, what you're gonna be taking a picture of, make sure that that is in its proper place, everything looks neat and orderly, and the decor is really up to par, how I like to say it. For example, you do not want to have personal items like a family photo in that picture, but what you do want to have in that picture is, and what you're trying to represent within that is an experience. I've said this a lot of times in prior videos. Don't just take a picture of a room. Make sure that you're taking a picture of the experience that that guest is going to have when they come stay in your property. So for example, this outdoor space in which I'm doing this video, it's a beautiful Airbnb. If I were taking a picture of this, I want the picture to show what you can experience when you get here. So I'm gonna take a picture of two people sitting down on this table, drinking a glass of wine and enjoying the sunlight or taking a picture of someone here like myself because I'm a, a remote worker most of the time working on my computer, creating some kind of experience with the photo. Tip number two, very important, is to use as much natural lighting as possible. Now, I know for some of you, this may be difficult depending on what you're, you're taking a picture of because some of you guys may have unique Airbnbs where they're like in a cave or something. In that case, you're going to have to introduce artificial lighting, but you want to take pictures or you want to introduce as much natural lighting as possible, opening the windows, making sure you're taking the picture during the right time, like now where the sun is right above us. So you have this natural lighting coming in. Tip number four is going to be experimenting with angles. Now you got to be very careful with this. What I want you to do is take as many pictures of a room from different angles, different points of view, and then pick the one that looks the best, but that it accurately depicts that area. What you don't want to do is take a picture of a room in an angle that makes that room look much bigger than what it is or represents something that it isn't because you want to make sure that when a guest looks at that picture, they're going to create an expectation. And when they get there, you want to meet that expectation because if you don't, you're going to be off. You're going to start off in a very bad foot and it's very hard to recover from that. The last tip I want to talk about is editing your photos. Just like I mentioned with experimenting with animals, Angles. I want you to experiment with filters and adding or deleting stuff within your photos. Now there's plenty of apps out there, but the iPhone itself has a editing feature where you can add either more brightness. Again, for those of you that need more natural lighting or you took a photo and that photo was too dark and the only photo you have, you can make it brighter. You can add contrast. You can make, for example, one of the filters that we like to use is Vivid Warm because uh, it gives you a different feel within that, that room. But experimenting with your filters, it's going to go a long way. Some of you may not have an eye for that. If you don't have an eye for that, then I highly recommend that you recruit someone that either has some knowledge in, in photos or just take a bunch of pictures, add different filters, and then ask or take a poll within your friends and family or your inner circle and have them decide which one's going to be the best. Well, my beautiful people, I hope this information was useful. If it was, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Follow me on Instagram because that's where I engage with my followers the most and if you want to donate to this channel please 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 buy me a coffee love you guys and i'll see you in the next one